Today I'm going to introduce you to an educational website, one that I use with my students, um, and I think it's really good. Okay, I'm going to take you straight to it. Now, if you're listening, you're here live when the webinar is on, I encourage you to come and have a look at the site and follow along what I'm doing. So it's code.org. So let's go www.code.org. Okay. And we'll click enter and we'll take us to the home page of this site. So I'm going to have a bit of a chat about the site while you get yourself into the site. So this site I really like, one, because it's free and there's lots of really good materials that I can access as a teacher. And there's lots of activities that I can set for my students to do. They can do it at school or they can go to this website and do it at home as well and continue on. So there's the advantage of that. Um, what I'm going to introduce today is two sections. We're going to do the learn and we're going to do the teach. Now, for a start, I'm going to look at the teach section. And what this section of the website is, it's for teachers and it provides some really, really good lesson plans. We're going to have a look at one example of a lesson plan that you could get, go to this site and you can have a lesson ready to run in your class tomorrow. Okay, as we go down on this site, you'll notice that it is American. So it's elementary school, middle school, and high school. Again, we can adapt that to Australian, to what we have in Australia with primary, middle, and secondary, or however, what state you're from. Some states are different. I'm going to look today at elementary because that's the area I teach in primary school. So I'm going to click on learn more. Okay, I'm going to go down the page. We're not going to worry too much about this stuff up here. And again, we've got course A to course F. Now, kindergarten is, well, it says kindergarten. That's probably for America. I would say it'd be foundation, one of the grades I teach, and that's what I'm going to focus on today. So we're going to look at course A, okay? And we've got courses A to F. We're going to focus on course A. So it says view course or lesson plans. I'm going to go and show you a lesson plan with example. So I'm going to click on lesson plans. And we'll wait for that page to load. So this is lesson one, debugging unspotted bugs. So I'm going to click on that lesson and it's going to give me a lot of resources to use to run this lesson. Now, the great thing about this lesson is if you notice over here, it says unplugged. What an unplugged coding lesson is, is a lesson you don't need a computer, you don't need internet access. What you will need to do is preparation at home. But this site makes it so easy to do that preparation. So on the left, we'll have a look. It's got an overview of the lesson, a purpose of the lesson, an agenda. How to structure this lesson to make it really work for your class. But again, you can adapt that lesson. So it's got some on the right hand side, it's got some objectives, what the students will be able to do. And importantly, it's got preparation, preparation that you'll need to do. So for instance, there's a video to introduce a lesson. You can go to that video on YouTube, you can download the clip so it's ready to go in your classroom. You're not wasting time waiting for connections that don't work, okay? It says that you need a, a online story. And there is a link down here to the storybook. Everything you need to run the lesson is on this page, okay? So there's different things. There's a te you know, teacher preparation guide because you're making a marble run in this activity. And there's links to get all these resources. What's really good about this website is the vocabulary that it teaches to the students, okay? In this lesson, that's focusing on debugging and bug. So that in the in the we're looking at the coding relevance of these words. Persistence, another good word. So there's really good vocabulary. So if they're getting the vocabulary at a foundation level, then by the time they're up into higher grades, they've got this vocabulary already embedded in them. Okay. And down the bottom of the page, the last bit I'll show you is a teaching guide. So it gives you their recommended time and how to run the lesson. Now, I'm not going to go through it step by step. I'd be here for too long. Okay. And it's got all the different activities and how they recommend you run it. But as I said before, you are able to always adapt things to the way you want it. Because I know with my classroom where I teach, 
some of this wouldn't work. The students at my school need to be in there doing things rather than sitting discussing. But the, again, adapted to your needs. So that's one example of a lesson plan that you can get from code.org that you can take and go straight into your class. Okay, so we're gonna click out of that and we're gonna have a look at some student activities. So what I'm going to do is we're going to click here on the CODE in black square, so the code, that'll take us back to the home page where I first took you and we'll get back there. We're gonna to go to learn. Now this is where you'd send your students. Again, here, you'd first time you introduce it, you'd show them how to get there, but they would remember fairly quickly. And it's very enjoyable activities that they do. Okay, so we're gonna to go to grades K to five again. And I'm going to click course A, because that's what I focused on before. And I'm gonna show you an example of an online activity. Okay, so what it does is it gives us, it's got 12 different lessons. Now, we've got some lessons that are just purely unplugged, okay? So they're teacher-driven lessons that the students, well, if they clicked on it, all it would do is bring up the resources. Okay, lesson one and two, the little diamonds, if you have a look above there, indicates it's a video. So again, these are unplugged lessons with the videos that students can watch. But what we're going to have a look at is a lesson that requires the students to do some activities. Now I'm gonna to go to lesson six, because I had a look at lesson four and that's probably really basic. Lesson six starts to introduce a little bit of Blockly and a bit of coding. So I'm not gonna watch the video because I can't get the videos to actually the sound on this recording. So the video here introduces some great terms and shows them how to do the activities and talks them through it. I'm not gonna do that now, we don't have time. So I'm gonna simply go into activity number two and I'm gonna read the instructions. You would have to show the video to your students, okay? It says, play with the blocks to try and get me to the bad pig. Okay, so you're this red little character here. So I'm gonna have a go. I know I need to make him go west. West, I wonder if that's going to be far enough. I can run it. And I've made a mistake. It says keep coding. Something's quite not quite right. So I know I need to go west again. Okay. So I'm going to reset and I'm going to run and it should work. So again, that worked. The next part's gonna take me to a video. Again, we don't wanna watch that, but the students would go there, they'd click, and they could do that. So I'm just gonna go continue. I'm gonna go to the next activity. So it's changed the activity slightly. Now, there's a, there's a, they've done a code, it says a bug. Fix the code to get me to the pig. So they've given a suggested code, obviously that's not gonna work. Now going from what I did before, I think I need to add another another little little block that says Western connected up. I'm going to go run and test it out. And I have it correct. So that is, so I've done that correctly. So I'm going to go continue and we're going to look at one final activity to wrap this little session up. So it changes the activities and it says fix the code to get me to the pig. All right, so if I have a look at the code, it's east, east, east and north. Now, obviously, I, we can pick it up pretty quickly, but this would require a little bit different thinking to what they've already done. So they would have to go, have to go take the north out, and I reckon they might have to go east. So we'll run that one and see how it goes. All right, so we have done that activity and we've completed it. So, and if you have a look, we'll go to the next one. We're not going to do it. But as a teacher, I can walk around and observe the students by their progress by these little green, green indicators mean that it's been done. So we didn't watch that video. We went straight to two. So you could get an indication if it's just a little line around the circle. That means I've started but I haven't done it properly and I've skipped on. So a real quick observation as a teacher to see whether your students are actually doing the activity. But the students I teach really, really enjoy doing these activities, and I think your students would benefit and enjoy it. So I really hope that you've enjoyed 
my little session today on code.org and I hope that you all have a go and use it in your teaching.